to Brandon's Passport to Television. My name is Brandon Parn. so happy you could join me today. Since November of 2017, I have kept a book and a vlog every episode of television I watch, and I've watched a lot. So I'm starting this to tell you about some of the shows I have watched to give you some recommendations of programs that maybe you didn't even know were out there. Today, I want to tell you about an underrated short-lived show that's an easy and fun watch for anyone and everyone. It's called 101 Ways to Leave a Game Show. Hosted by brain surgeon Jeff Sutphin, the show sees eight contestants whittled down to four through various rounds until one person is left and walks away with $50,000. Keyword being walks. Because when a contestant gets a question wrong, they are eliminated in a spectacular way like being strapped to the wing of a biplane or shot out of a cannon. When the contestants arrive, they are split into two groups of four. Before the groups start each round, they are told how they will be leaving the show if they get the question wrong. Each group is given an educated guess type question to determine the order in which they will answer the actual question for the round. Whoever is closest to the answer goes first, and furthest will go last. Then, the group is given the possible answers for the question. In round one, there are four possible answers with three being correct, and in round two, there are three possible answers with two being correct. The person who selects the incorrect answer is literally ejected from the show in extravagant fashion. When just four players remain, they are taken to the tower which is always the site of the final round. In this round though, there is only one right answer to the question and three wrong ones. The contestant who successfully picks the right answer leaves the show $50,000 richer. The show aired during the summer of 2011 on ABC and was based on the original UK version hosted by Steve Jones, which is very different from the US show and I will be discussing that in a future episode. It was executive produced by Matt Kunitz, best known for Fear Factor and Wipeout, the latter of which is somewhat of a sister show to 101 Ways, with both having the same executive producer and production company, Endemol. What makes the show so fun and interesting is the combination of crazy stunts that create hilarious reactions from the contestants and a general knowledge quiz. Also, Jess Sutphin does a great job of hosting, getting to play to a more sadistic side than the fun energetic side you may have seen on Nickelodeon. Unfortunately, the show only lasted six episodes, but the good news is that all six shows are available to stream for free with ads on ABC.com and the ABC app. Well, that does it for this episode of Brandon's Passport to Television. Make sure you like and subscribe. My name is Brandon Parnes, saying stay tuned for Carson Daily, and I'll see you next time.